An attack by the space balls. A massive forest fire? And a really ominous name. Chapter 1 isn't pulling any punches. Welcome back to Mother 3! We're in control of the most awesome character in the game so far. Flint! The Tezmili Ranger! And he has... some nut bread. Real men can have nut bread. Not you, Thomas. You run funny. What's wrong with you? You know what? There's a fire and everything, but I want to talk to the townspeople. Like Biff here. He has a Charlie Brown shirt on, and he's concerned about the pitch black smoke. I'm not. See how not concerned I am? I'm walking. And here's Richie. It's a girl. The guy's name. Because they can. Her parents didn't love her. And here's Nickel. He kind of looks like Jeff. At least Jeff didn't mess up his lines. That's fine. What about you? You look rather flamboyant. It's Jackie. He runs the Yado Inn. Yeah, we could use another guy. We could actually use two more guys. We got four party slots here. Sure. Uh, yeah, you're busy running the Yoda Inn, is what I'm gonna call it now, because it's an anagram of Yado. Enjoy your Yoda Inn, Jackie. Alright, how about you guys? You guys concerned about the fire? Yeah, you better... That's a good idea, because I'm not saving you. I don't feel like it. And Jill! She's disturbing looking, and she imitates Pac-Man a lot. Yeah, there is no fire. Thomas is all egging you on. He even has the bell guy doing it. You hear that bell going off? Just ignore it. Yeah, Thomas! What's the big deal? Disturbing the peace. Some policeman should arrest you for imitating a fireman. You know what? I don't want to talk to the blind guy just yet. He's clearly blind. He looks like the typical blind guy. Now, let's talk to Mayor Pusher instead. He's gonna push us around, because that's his name. Yeah, all he cares about is himself. Fine! Okay. Okay. Stop. Uh, nobody can order Flint around but him. Because he owns the deed to the village, I guess. And this is Mapson! He has maps. Lots of maps. And he gave us a map. This guy is all about the maps. Yes, I am, actually. I'm a little concerned. Thank you. Lighter Shack is what we saw in the beginning of this bombing run. He pushed his kid inside and ran off. I think he wants him to get set on fire. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna explain the map in some kind of way like Alec did with the B button. Yeah, like this. I'm gonna wish there's a map here. And it'll be R button-like. And it'll probably give me a map. Let's try it. Ah! There we go. I wished for a map and got it. He circled uh, Lighter's house, which is right up there. So we're gonna have to go off to the left. There's other areas too, but they're closed off to us. And there's another save frog if you need it. Hey, Abbott! Is there a fire going on? Yes. It's on fire like crazy. Insane people think that's a fire. We're not insane, though. I don't believe there's a fire going on. And we got a nut, just laying around. This village is full of nuts. Both the person variety and the nut on the ground. And also some nut bread. See? I know what it was before I opened it. Flint put that there earlier. That's how he knew. Hey, later! You're very tall. Are you the Slender Man? Yeah, later does not talk much. In fact, that's the only way he communicates with the village, is banging on that bell. It's kind of like Morse code. Oh hey, Sparrow. I want to talk to Sparrow. Now, these sparrows are filled with, uh, game hints and tutorials for you. By using Game Lingo, he's going to talk about the menu system. How to equip, how to look at your status, how to just operate the menu in general. And the sleep menu. If you're playing on a Game Boy Advance, like I'm not, because that would be dumb, the camcorder of Game Boy Advance. Plus, I don't think you could hack a Japanese version of the cartridge. You can put it in sleep mode and start the game at any time. It's it's not important to us at all. No, we're never going to use this. Yeah, Raro? Yeah, you just go back to chirping. Thank you. Chirp, chirp to you too, buddy. And this is Nan. 
She does things. That's what she does. Hey, what about you guys? Tell me a story about the fire. Lighter and fuel are stuck in the forest. Well, figures the people with the worst names to be in a fire are stuck in a fire. Great. Hey, bud. Are you feeling okay? What? What am I doing? I'm not pushing anything. I'm, I'm willing all of my thoughts into something, uh, something A button-ish. You want me to stop imagining an A button? But I, I can't stop imagining an A button. You mention it, and now I've lost the game, and I keep on talking about the A button like it's there. Ugh. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. I, I just couldn't get my mind off that A button. Well, it's all your fault for getting sick, running that hard, and that fast, and that long. Hey, it's Yonel! The game won't let you progress unless you stop in here for a little bit and talk to Yonel. So you can offer a prayer to the spirit of the forest. Hello, spirit. Oh, no, not one of these things again. At least it's better than Tony asking me, it's the forest spirit. Alright, might as well put it in. It's... Armored Chocobo, of course. My, uh, controller's freaking out on me a little bit here. Bear with me! Yes, my controller is very old and it sticks a lot. So sometimes it makes it hard to do this kind of stuff. Typing with my controller. There we go. Now we can be very best friends, Forest Spirit. Yes, you have a problem with that? I like my name. Alright, I'll enjoy the game and I'll forget this conversation happened. What are we talking about? Um, what, what game am I playing? Why do I smell fire? Who are you? Why are you fl following me? Ah! Nothing makes sense anymore. Oh wait, memories are flooding back to me. I'm playing Mother 3, and there's a fire. And here's Ollie. Ed won't let him throw. Come on, Ed. They want help with the fire. They might have buckets. Yeah, I heard about that before. They have rubber necks. They could they could fight the fire with their neck. Put water through it. Yeah, there's a lot of adjectives for that fire. I don't care. Hey, check it out. It's Mike. He helps Thomas out at the bazaar. We're gonna see that shop later. It's not open right now. Obviously because of fire. He's gonna give us cookies. A slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie. Actually, he has three slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies on hand. We're gonna take two of them. He heal us for about 15 HP each. And Flint has a lot of HP, so we're gonna need a lot of cookies. All right, and our first battle is right here. Versus Mr. Batty! Do the Mr. Batty twist! Which is the song that's playing right now. Sounds like the Batman theme. All right. Time to see what Flint can do. Let's see what Batty can die to. Well, he has his regular bash, but I want to combo with it. I'm addicted to combos now. But I'm bad at it. Let's power smash Mr. Batty. It guarantees a smash, but it has low accuracy. Oh. Batty, why'd you do that? He committed suicide. He was a suicidal bat. He couldn't stand his music anymore. Oh, hello, Afro guy. Matt is looking for Isaac, and he's definitely not at home. He can stop banging on the door now. But we can pick up Isaac's Ares bracelet and use it for more defense. And also check out what's over here. A hot spring! If we jump in this hot spring, we can heal up, but it takes a little while. How about 5 to 10 seconds? There we go. Also, I do have fast forward. Watch this. Flint is time hacking! And he also engaged awesome mode for no reason whatsoever. Yes, another sparrow, right here. We could dash past enemies and avoid combat, but um... We won't get a lot of experience, though. So, take this haiku to heart. That's a pretty good haiku, haiku there, Sparrow. Chirp, 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 chirp to you, too. All right. Stop talking to birds and let this this adventure continue. 
by con continuing to fight another bat. The fires bring out the bats! What can I say? Come on, combo time! Yes! See? I predicted it. I comboed the heck out of that bat. The Miz should learn a thing or two from Flint, the Tasmili Ranger. And here's Bronson. He's actually an important character to the story, but he breathed in too much smoke, so he's useless to us right now. Yes, I could assume that. It's time for me to go help them! Oh, wow. Yes, this forest is on fire, as you can tell. And don't touch the fire! Because that happens. You lose 1 HP for every time you get hit by fire. And there's another stormtrooper. Why is there a pig nose on that box? These, these stormtroopers are pig excess. That they also have robotic flies. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? He didn't see us. Good. But he did lose 2 HP running through that fire. Yes, the, the emulator can't handle this much going on at once. The recording and all this fire on the screen. We can't get through there. We don't have a stormtrooper suit. We can only run through little fires. And also back attack these things. It'll be easy to. It's a yeah, monster. And this is what back attacking does. You can see the back of your enemy. So let's try and kill them before he can turn around. Ah. Why do you always have to miss? Alright. That's what back attacking lets you do is you get a preemptive attack as they take time to turn around. There's also other abilities and items that you could use to uh, make an enemy turn around and waste a turn. And that's a smash right there. Yeah, monsters have a lot of defense, so that wasn't a really impressive smash. But at least I get to eat some nut bread now. Or maybe these nut cookies. Yum! Nut cookie! Alright, let's see if we can't beat up another one of these things and get us some more items. The item drop rate is considerably higher than last time. A lot of these enemies have 100% to 50% drop rates, and it's mostly food. Thankfully, that's exactly what Flint needs, because he has no way to heal himself. See? Another item drop! Nut bread! That heals for 30. I'm just gonna avoid any more yam monsters. I don't want to get too ridiculously overpowered already. I want to get through that, though. I want that present over there. Action! Flint! That's my call now. That's my motto. Action Flint! Oh, it's like lighter, I've seen a little bit too much action. Is he alright? Is he alive? Someone poke him with a stick. Oh, right, I got one. Hold on. Oh, good. He's twitching. That's a good thing, right? Good, he's alive. That means fuel does not have to be an orphan. He's trying to battle the flies on his own, but it ain't working. You can't hit a fly with a 4x4, or whatever he has over there. Those things. Where have they come from? What are the stormtroopers doing here? Why are they torching our forest for no reason? Ah, <sighs> so many questions in Chapter 1 that we don't know the answer to. Feel stuck at home because you locked them in, you jerk! Yes, Thomas is going to stay here and look after Lighter. I'm going to go save Fuel. I'm going to take Lighter's Lumber with me. Yes, that's exactly what I intend on using it for. Shut up, Thomas. You're a jerk. Let's use Lighter's 4x4 to get some more offense, but less speed. i would never seen a bug like this before, either. I don't think they grow that big. Holy cow. And here's a few more, just to remind you that you are about to face a mini-boss. A real challenge for Flint. Well, you gonna attack me or what? Bring it on! Alright, this is where we get to play with Swing! Swing hits multiple opponents! It's pretty much Flint's version of fire. As you can tell, the fireflies, they could waste their turn, like every Earthbound-based enemy can. They could also breathe fire, and they could also tackle me. Like that. I prefer them breathing fire, because it doesn't hurt as much as the tackle. 
And we got three dead flies. Don't worry, Lighter. Flint could take care of it. I like how it's the fire is going on, but you have a fire background as well. The funky background is actually topical for a change. And more nut bread for Flint. Alright. Awesome mode activated. Nut bread eaten. More nut bread eaten. I'm holding onto the nuts because you can do something with them. I'll show you that later. But now we have to rescue fuel and save. Because fire is dangerous, and if I get set on fire, I go back to the beginning. Yes, I'll save right here. On top of the save I already made. It's okay. I'm double saving my progress after every video using save states. Alright, is there anything over here? No, I'm just getting fired. Flint, you're fired! It's fuel! Oh, he exploded. And turned into what the heck is that? I don't like it. Flint, you're gonna have to destroy it. Alright, action! Flint! And we bashed our way into here. And I got set on fire again. It's great! Right before I'm fighting a flying mouse, too. I'm gonna power smash this mouse to death. Or to life. Whichever comes first. No, I want to hit him with power smash! I'm sure it'll kill him in one hit. The flying mouse also has a combo attack. Oh, I don't- I forget I, I didn't mention Flint's instrument. Flint can use a saxophone. A best saxophone. Come on. I'm, I'm diligent to use this power smash on him. Yeah, that's great. You're not impressing anybody. Come on, one of these have to hit. It's only a 50% chance. If you flip the coins enough time, you're gonna hit them. Ah. You know what? My coin is double-headed coin, and I'm looking for tails. You know what the heck with it? No more ever. You get combo attacks now. So do I. But let's not talk about that. Alright. I better start fighting right, because... This mouse is tougher than he seems. Bring him down. Every time I say that, I miss my combo opportunity. Alright. More nut bread for me. It's getting into desperate now. This is what I get for trying to smash with a low probability smash. See? I should have bashed him to death. It works. These battles are kind of slow, because even though it's Flint, it's still uh, a one-man show, and battles can get difficult if you miss a lot. And this house is a mess. You'd think they would make their home out of more fireproof materials. But no! They're gonna trap fuel behind fire. And there's a support beam blocking our way. You know what this means. Action! Flint! <laughs> I love that dashing animation. That's the best thing ever. Oh, right. Saving fuel. Hello, Fuel. I've come to rescue you, unless you want to burn to death. Fuel get, because he does not want to burn to death. Let's get out of here. This house is going to come down any second. You see? You see? You, you would have had that fall on your head. It's not good for you. Also, it's not good for me either. Flint is fire-soluble. Wow. Um, Fuel? It's a good thing we live in a forest, because, uh, your house is no more. What a mess. And there's no room service or maids here. At least they made it out, but they're covered with soot. Do you really call that living? Yes, I am. You're welcome, Mr. Pitch Black Fuel. Let's go see Not So Pitch Black Lighter. I'm sure he would be glad to know you're okay. Also, I hope he survived his injuries fighting bugs with his 4x4. Now we could just plain ignore this fire. I mean, we got plenty of HP. What we can't avoid doing is getting into random battles, though. Alright, luckily there's no more yam monsters beside beyond this point right here. See? No more monsters. They've all been scared off by the fire. You know what, uh, we could go see Lighter right now, but you know what? Let's take a side trip, make ourselves look presentable. In the hot spring! 
Yeah, that feels good. This feels better. Time powers! See that? Healed up in half the time. What the heck? Guys, can you go wash your faces off? No. For some reason, these characters lack the ability to bend over. Alright, we'll only be 75% presentable. We can't do anything about that other 25. Hey, Matt. I'm... I, I have a... Don't mind my face. Well, this works as a good mask. Nobody knows it's flint. Thank you, mystery stranger covered with soot. Oh, okay. Abbott's on the ball here. Light has been taken to the sanctuary. The forest god is asking for his name and then saying, Right, what? You really gonna go with that? And Abby! Both of these are on the ball. The young couple. Of course. Oh, Abby got injured? No! Not Abby! Oh, the same mouse that was flying around inside of Lighter's house. It bit her on the head! Well, it bit me everywhere, because I was trying to smash her to death. Yeah, actually, it was pretty easy to understand. Don't second-guess yourself, Abbott. It's a dumb thing to do. And you! Thomas! Why don't you have a fire hose? Do something! I'll just stand there. Yeah, responsible to who? There's a fire just north of you. You're wearing a fireman uniform. Deal with it! Wow. You know, these people don't know anything about fire safety, but they do know a lot about first aid. Check it out, the half-body cast here. Yes, he's okay. I got him a little dirty, though. I hope you don't mind. He's covered with soot, can't you tell? It's called a fire! This is what happens! This is what happens when you leave your fuel in fires to become sooty and pitch black. He was fighting bugs, and are you gonna note his arm and also his concussion? Yeah, I don't think it works like that. See? Only Flint can do these things. You are not Wolverine. Flint is Wolverine. The Mother 3 Wolverine. That's not how it works. It requires bed rest and several weeks of therapy. We're lucky that Flint is here or we've all have burned down by now and died. Looks like Lighter and Flint knew each other for a while. I guess that's because their names are similar. A Flint is just an archaic Lighter after all. That's okay. Uh, please don't try and fight any more bugs, that's my job. You also showed your get beat up by simple enemy side. You're welcome. Oh, well, come on. His heart ain't made of stone. Yeah, right, Bronson. Like, that's gonna happen. <laughs> hey, it's raining. Bronson, now say money should be falling from the sky. Do it. Do it. Is there any money in Tasmili Village? These guys don't understand fire hoses. I don't think they understand currency. But let's get the injured personnel out of the rain before they catch bone pneumonia. The only place we can take them out of the myriad of buildings around here. The Yoda Inn! Come on, I'm gonna do it. That is a. It's clearly an anagram of Yoda. You didn't do anything. Flint stared at you until you got out of his personal space. No, he just regenerates his wounds. He doesn't have a single bandage on him. I'm telling you. He just needs to eat some nut bread and he's fine. Alright. Uh, that means I go home for that, alright? Might as well ask around. Maybe they have some information on what went on here. Why are there people torching our forests? That's yeah, okay, Haiku. Doesn't answer my question, though. I don't... I don't care about Isaac. I want to know why this is happening. Fuel, do you know? Is that why they tried to kill you? Alright. Looks like Flint's gonna... Uh, Flint. Flint's gonna pull through after all, because he's awesome. 
But Lighter's gonna pull through because his injuries aren't that bad. Huh. Actually, yeah, he has a good point. And now when the kids certainly don't need to beat up on cockroaches, they got bigger problems now. Yeah, I saw those yam monsters. We should really take care of that problem. Oh, right, the Stormtroopers. Actually, that's not a bad name. We're gonna call them the Pig Masks from now on. They sure certainly have the pig nose thing going on. And me! And also your son. They made fire. Fire made pitch. And then we got covered with it. You're just catching up on this right now. Your concussion's worse than I thought. You come down with a case of amnesia. Alright. Unfortunately, it's, it's raining like heck, and Flint is water-soluble, because that's how the game works. So he can't go home. We're gonna have to stop in here for a little bit, socialize, and get a room. Yeah, next time I have a third party slot, you better fill it. Alright, he's gonna give us a free room anyway, because of Flint's condition. He melts in rain. He's a warlock. A nut bread warlock. And also there's an antidote in this room, just for him. Like they're assuming that Flint could ever be poisoned. Yeah, we're gonna take a quick rest, but Flint doesn't sleep like normal people. You see? All he did was stand and stare at the wall. That's how we get revitalized. Alright, it's still going on, the rain. Alright, might as well risk it. Hey Isaac! You were out getting mushrooms. Did you see anything weird going on in the past few hours? Yeah, it is. It's better than that mighty heavy fire that we had. Me as a player, I, I have seen them several times. But Flint has not. Not since they went to the grandfathers. A manly moment of silence there? Really, that's an interesting story. Please do go on. Oh! Oh good. They're, they're, they're fine. They're perfectly fine. Yeah, well, that's what Dragos do. They, they roar. They also fall over on kids if they ram them the wrong way. Huh? Well, that ain't good. Maybe, maybe, uh, the Dragos are protecting Hinawa. Oh, man. Don't tell me something happened to Hinawa and the kids. Maybe the Pigmas stole them. We might as well activate awesome mode, because this chapter isn't over yet. Let's check out back home. Maybe they didn't get kidnapped. Maybe the Dragos fought the Pigmasks off. Hey, Boney, did you see the family? Good boy. Um... But I don't see Hinawa anywhere, so you lied to me. Mm. Yeah. There's Hinawa's dove. Of course the dove's gonna get here before they do, because Hinawa cannot fly. Hinawa. I pronounce her name any which way I want. Might as well read the letter over again. Because I kind of like this music. As I read this letter again, I just keep on wondering, what is the pig mask's deal? Seriously? They're, they're torching forests for God knows what. Ah, uh, now they've now I'm gonna assume that they've kidnapped Flint's family, which is a bad idea all around. You see what Flint did to that flying mouse? He missed a lot. Pig mask, do you want Flint angry? Do you want him to miss a lot at you? And then take you out with normal combo attacks? I don't think so. Next, the pig masks are gonna come after my sheep, I just know it. And then I'll have to be social and family matters. I hate when Flint has to be social. He keeps swinging a stick around and we can't understand what he's trying to do. Alright. Thanks a lot, dearest wife. Now I have to rescue you. Best female protagonist ever, huh?
And Flint is still reading that letter. He's He has the text going through his mind. Constantly. Oh, hey, Isaac. And fuel. Yeah, they could. But luckily they got kept, captured by Pigmas, so I'm pretty sure they have a tent nearby or something. No, fuel. You couldn't get your way out of a fire. And you know what? Never grow up to be a fireman. A fireman named Fuel is probably a bad idea. Alright, we should go looking for them. They, they have to be under a tree or inside a house or something. They certainly ain't gonna be hanging around in this rain. We're gonna round up a posse, like a good old rural village does. Because they don't ask for anything in return. They're just that nice. Alright, next time on Mother 3? It's the hunt for Hinawa and the kids. Were they captured? Or has a uh, worse fate befallen them? Like something that has to do with the title of this chapter. I really hope it's not that. I hope it's a big punk. I hope it's a surprise party for Flint. Happy birthday! There's nut bread. Alright, I'm Armored Chocobo. Good night.